underestimate this symphony. It's a real gem, only it's not what you'd normally expect from a Beethoven symphony. It is one of those curiosities of Beethoven that his symphonies tend to have the strongest possible contrast from one to the next. Think of the contrast between the third and the fourth, or the fifth and the sixth, or the seventh and the eighth. These contrasts are surely testament to his artistic capabilities. The eighth, in my opinion, is Beethoven's funniest symphony. It certainly has its serious moments, but it's filled with comedy, musical jokes, lightheartedness, and comic twists. In fact, the public was initially disappointed with the eighth. Compared to his previous symphonies, this one seemed too small. It became common practice to insert the seventh symphony slow movement into the eighth to make it a bit more popular and dramatic. However, when challenged that the 8th was so much less popular than the 7th, Beethoven replied, well that's because it's so much better. In any case, it shows that Beethoven is just as fit for a delicate task as for a colossal one, and that he has a great musical sense of humour. The first movement is in sonata form. It immediately begins with this welcoming first theme. quickly followed by another theme. And then comes the first joke. He's hammering away in one key, and then he realises he was in the wrong key, and so he humbly switches key. Then he begins the second subject in D major. But again he realises he was in the wrong key, and blushing he finds his way back to C major, the proper dominant key. And from there there are a few more themes worth quoting. and this wind-up, which ends the exposition. The development storms along through all kinds of key changes in an unbroken course which leads towards a grand climax, the recapitulation, where we hear the first theme in basses. And from here the recapitulation continues, and those same jokes now have new twists on them to keep them fresh. The recap ends, leading us into a coda, where he'll continue to develop his ideas even more. But this all leads to a most triumphant finale in F major, extremely loud and assertive, and then the final joke. Just when we think it's all over with a big blast, Beethoven reduces the dynamic to the quietest possible, and ends with this unfinished fragment of the first theme. We thought he'd end with a big bang, but he tricked us. The second movement is very simple but charming. Where we'd normally get a serious slow movement, this one is clearly comic, very cute and almost mischievous. A second theme comes. Have a listen, it's only four minutes and the ending is this comic scurrying of noise. I think we can all agree that those who used to replace this with the seventh symphony slow movement clearly misunderstood this symphony. The third movement is a scherzo, charming and witty. Here is the main theme. And here is the trio. I have to 
say the trio is fantastic, a brilliantly written gem not to be underestimated. The finale is another witty, sonata-esque form. Here is the first subject. And this leads to an elephantine C-sharp, which takes us into full orchestra. To get to the second subject, he makes this key change literally out of nowhere. It just suddenly appears in a new mood and a new key, like an actor suddenly changing character. And so it continues. It develops a bit and then it returns in full force in the wrong key before another humorous correction to the right key with embarrassed timpani and bassoon. And so it continues with good humour, lightheartedness and a sense of adventure. What's crazy is, as we think we're reaching the end, Beethoven has more jokes in store. Take this, you might remember this elephantine C-sharp from the beginning of the finale. Now, towards the end, he makes that C-sharp a whole thing, and uses it to get to F-sharp minor, so far from F major. And then Beethoven has a seemingly endless series of jokes for his coda. Sudden random pauses, moments of overdone melodrama, speeding up, slowing down. Best of all is when he finally reaches the home chord, F major, to end the symphony. And then he can't actually finish the symphony. It keeps sounding like it must be over. And then Beethoven just milks it more and more. The only explanation is that Beethoven is making fun of himself and of all composers and having great fun with his art. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like or a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more and share this with your friends. And if you'd like to support this channel or buy me a coffee to say thank you, you can visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash inside the score. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.